Well, good evening. Boy, it is all about the humidity, isn't it? It is sticky out there. Oh, yeah, and the mosquitoes, which have been really in full force recently. Right now, though, we do have quiet weather across the coastal bend. You can see the clouds are with us and some haze. We do have some filtered sunshine out there, but a very hazy sky and very humid out there. We hit 89 in Corpus Christi today. That's well above the average of 86. Started our morning warm and muggy, 76 this morning. As far as any rain right now, there isn't any here. You can see it's quiet, but if we look out toward Laredo, uh, we do see just south of Laredo some showers and thunderstorms developing. These, and if you remember last night, we had a few of these that held together and made it through the coastal bend late last night. Tonight, it's looking less likely that'll happen. You can see this cluster right here. Here's our high resolution forecast model, and it does take those to our south and weakens them as they get closer to the coast. So it's possible there could be a shower or two in southern Jim Wells or Duval County close to 8, 9 o'clock tonight, but the majority of that activity is going to stay south of our area, keeping it dry here as we head into the weekend. But we will have a lot of low clouds around this weekend. So tonight's going to stay warm again. Low temperatures only dropping into the low to mid 70s. A very muggy night and just a very light breeze blowing out there tonight. And then tomorrow, it's like it was today. We start with the clouds. We have the humidity, the temperature hitting 89 degrees in the afternoon in Corpus Christi. But it's going to feel hotter, and the reason why is that humidity. It's that time of year, isn't it? We're talking about the heat index, and it's going to feel like 97 by the time we get to 1 in the afternoon and feeling like 100 at 3 o'clock as that humidity will be high again tomorrow with high temperatures running above average. In fact, inland Kingsville and, and Alice and through Mathis and George West into the lower 90s, 90 at Beeville tomorrow, Corpus Christi hitting 89. Even the beaches will be warm into the 80s tomorrow in many of the coastal communities. As far as the feels like temperature or what we call the heat index, this is the projection for tomorrow at three o'clock feeling like 100 to 108. So you need to take precaution, slow it down out there, drink lots of water if you're going to be doing activities outdoors because it's that time of year we have to watch that heat index and let our bodies uh, stay cooler because it's going to be tough with that high humidity. All right, the beach forecast is good for tomorrow. We have a low rip current risk. We've only got a three foot surf, 15 mile an hour winds and a good day to hit the beach. Don't forget the 30 SPF sunscreen or greater. We have a little bit of a change in the weather pattern coming at us. Right now, we are sitting under this ridge of high pressure and it's making it tough for storms to make it in here. We have a suppressed air and very warm air over the top of us. That pattern persists into early next week. You can see this ridging here. But as we get into the middle and end of next week, notice the high starts to pull away from us and we get into this upper level low pressure, which starts to approach. That's going to increase the upper level disturbances coming through and with that that extra added touch of all that atmospheric moisture later next week we have a better chance at getting rain showers and thunderstorms more likely starting Wednesday through the end of the week so if we look at the seven day forecast for rainfall potential most of it looks like the higher totals to the north but Later next week, we might be getting up to an inch of rain in some spots. Here's your seven day forecast then. A lot of heat and a lot of humidity this weekend and mainly dry through early next week. And then we see those storm chances ramping up. We have more news coming up. Please stay with us.